Hello, welcome to Rambrook Jaguar in Warrington, Jason Courtney speaking. Here we have for you today a Volkswagen Golf, it's the 2 litre GTI petrol, it's a 5 door hatchback as you can see with the DSG gearbox. The registration on this vehicle is DE56WRD, the car was first registered on the 14th of November 2006 and has had one owner from brand new with impeccable Volkswagen service history. The exact mileage on this car is 84,898. And as you can see, it is a very pretty car indeed, uh, finished in a sort of a gunmetal grey metallic with a sports interior. So starting off on the offside front wing as we always do, we've got a couple of very minor stone chips at the front of this wing. Uh, apart from that, that's pretty much it. So uh, as you'd expect with this mileage, it is going to have one or two stone chips towards the front of the car. As you can see, that tyre tread depth is, per is perfect, we're on around 6mm for there. This offside front wheel will require a slight refurbishment. As you can see, we've just got a little bit of bubbling on that wheel there, so that will require a refurbishment. Looking down the offside of the car, that driver's door, we've got one or two light scratches here, which will need us a local smart repair. It's just on the sort of the, the door scuff plate, as you like, um, which, which, which we'll need a little bit looking at. And we've just got a couple of chips. You might not be able to see it here, but we've just got a couple of chips just on that door edge as well, which I, you probably would just need to touch in. That offside rear door is absolutely fine, as is that rear wing, as you can see. So looking at, again, this rear tyre, that's on around three and a half millimetres, so that tyre is absolutely fine. But again, we've just got a little bit of blistering on that alloy wheel, so that wheel will also require just a light refurbishment to get that looking perfect. Coming to the back of the car, on the rear bumper, again, it is only a slight, a local smart repair, but we've just got a very light scuff, as you can see, on that rear bumper. The boot lid of the car is absolutely fine. As I say, it is the GTI, which is the two litre petrol. Let's have a look in the boot of the car. Just open the boot. If I can open the boot, there we go. So in the boot, as you can see, we do have the parcel shelf. We do also have the 12 volt socket supply as well. And then underneath here, you can see that we have the spare wheel. And everything you can also see you've got your locking wheel nut key and all the tools are present and exactly as they should be so that's perfect we do also have a ski hatch as well great option to have i'm sure you'll agree so coming down onto the near side of the car starts off on that near side rear wing again that wing is pretty much perfect as you can see that wing is absolutely fine again that rear tire is on around three millimeters so that tire is okay and that wheel, we've got a slight refurbishment required there, but again, it, it is only slight. Looking down the near side of the car, that near side rear door is absolutely perfect. When we look at the near side driver's door, you can notice at the bottom, we've just got one or two light scratches here. Now, it is only a relatively small panel, so it would be an easy repair. And we've just got on this plastic panel here, we've just got a, some light scratches. Again, certainly nothing major. I wouldn't let it put you off this vehicle, because all, all in all, this car is a very, very pretty car. But as you know, we endeavour to point out every mark that we can. So that rear, uh, sorry, the, the, the rear view mirror glass is absolutely fine, as is the mirror housing as well. So looking at this near side front wing, wing seems okay. We've just got a, a light scuff here, which basically is on the bumper. It's about six inches long, uh, and it's just onto the bumper, but it just, just goes onto the, on the front wing again. It would only need to be a local smart repair, so that wouldn't, that sort of wouldn't take much to repair that at all. Looking at that front tyre, again as you can see, that tyre looks very very new indeed, so we're looking around best part of 5-6mm to six millimeters on that tyre. And that wheel, again just showing up slight marks of corrosion, so again if I was being ultra picky I would possibly want to refurbish those four wheels. I think this car needs it, or, or, or would justify it because it's such a pretty car. So look at the front of the car, we do have one or two stone chips on the front bumper as you can see as well. They will just need to be touched in. Again, it is 86,000 miles, so it's nothing that you wouldn't expect. So all in all on the outside, very pretty car indeed. As you can see, we do have two keys for this car. Let's look in the back of the car. Good health of our unlocked it. Here we go. So we do have the GTI sports interior, as you can see with a pretty pattern on it. This interior smells like brand new, so it certainly hasn't been smoked in or no pets. Again, you can see that we do have the GTI sports seats. We do also have, as you can see, the racing pedals, and it has got the flat bottomed steering wheel as well. 
So let's start this car up. So as I said, it is the DSG gearbox. Best gearbox they do. We have got heated front seats and we do also have dual climate control air conditioning as well. And we have a CD player, auto dimming rear view mirror and we've got sunglasses holder as well. The exact mileage on this car is 84,898 and as you can see there are no warning lights apart from the fuel gauge there are no warning lights on this car. Just to like let you know as well we do also have the paddle shift gear change as well like I say it has got the GTI flat bottom steering wheel again great option to have like I say on the inside of this car it certainly hasn't been smoked in it, it smells like brand new and it's very very clean indeed. So as I mentioned this is a one owner car from new registration number DE56 WRD so it's had one private owner from new the MOT on this car is due to expire on the November November the 18th 2015 more importantly as you can see there were no advisories on the MOT and then with regards to the service history again fantastic service history on this car which I'll just show you now so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine we have ten Volkswagen stamps uh, all main dealers the last service stamp was done on the 21st of January 2015 at 82,443 miles so this car's only done 2,000 miles since its last full service so the service history on this car is fantastic and it is right up to date as well so like I say all in all a little bit of preparation work on the outside certainly nothing major on the inside pretty much perfect very pretty car very pretty color uh, like I say if you have any questions please give me a call I'm on 01925 247 900 and thanks for watching.